before the intuitive guy program, um, I was, I finished up massage school and I was kind of like in this rocky space where I didn't know about all this internal healing and massage school kind of introduced us to, you know, reflexology and Reiki and all these energy healings. And I could feel like there's like, was an imbalance somewhere, but I couldn't really place what I needed to learn or what I needed to do in order to incorporate that to make myself a better massage therapist. And I've been following you for quite some time, just little things that would come through and I'd see these cool retreats pop up and I'm like, well, maybe someday I'll go do one of those. And I'd see the intuitive guide program pop up and I'm like, that looks really cool. And then there was like, I think it was the winter before I started that it came up and I was like, you know what? I think that's it. I think that's what I need to do is this intuitive guide program. And we had been learning in massage school um, how to body test and um, learning about whether or not our bodies are telling us that, yes, this is something we want to go do or no, it's not for us. We're not ready. And when I asked myself, is this something that I need to do? It was like a hell yes. Like we need to, <laughs> you need to get on board. Mm -hmm. And so it was probably one of the best things I've done for myself in many, many years. So thank you for that. <laughs> Working through the parts and the way that you had it set up, you know, going through the layers of the ego and really starting to get into the inner child stuff. Like when we did the imagery stuff with the inner child, that was profoundly healing. I found that there was a lot of parts to myself that I didn't know existed. And then just knowing them now and being able to recognize certain patterns and what parts of myself are in need of something, some type of healing. And it's something that I can do for myself now. Like what Missy was saying, where we can learn all these special little things that we can do at home. It makes it so much easier than not knowing what to do or what's wrong with you and just being like, okay, so I know what's wrong. I know what I can do. I can sit here. I can meditate. I can find what parts I need to work on. What, you know, what does my inner teenager need today? Um, what is my inner 20 year old saying that she's angry about today? You know, just working with those parts I found to be the most profound. Um, I still struggle with inner critic, but I have a feeling that's something that most of us are probably going to struggle. <laughs> um, it's much better. I recognize it's, you know, a different part of myself that's, you know, we, I learn how to say the kind words and speak kinder to myself. And then all the tools that you taught us, super helpful. Um, I still actually go through your books sometimes when I'm feeling kind of like, I need something else or what tool was it I needed to use? I'll be like, well, let's pull out the book and see what's in there that mm -hmm. <laughs> will help me through it. But I found that it doing all of the parts and shutting the ego gave me a confidence boost and allowed me to see what I was faking and where I'm not, um, what my real strengths are and what I still could probably use a little work on. Um, and just, it helped make me a more confident and better massage therapist, as well as I've dived into my Reiki practice and being able to feel comfortable now. Like when we first started, it was so uncomfortable doing Akashic records for people because <laughs> I was very self-conscious and now it's, it is what it is. It's like, I'm just, I'm going to go in, we're going to go and talk to your guides and here we are. <laughs> The only thing was um, financial struggles um, and talking to you about that made that easier. We broke it down to something that was much more doable. And um, the one of the women that I was mentoring with at the time in the massage school, we sat down and created a way to bring in more of an income so that it wouldn't be as much of a struggle. And so it all play, it all worked out the way it needed to. And it was just nice how it all flowed in. So it was like the one thing I was worried about, I'd never needed to be worried about, which mm -hmm. it was nice having that little, little peace of mind of having someone just break it down for you and be like, you know, if you just 
you know, have this amount of money and save about this much. You can pay this much every week and then put that aside and then it will be all paid for. And I'm like, okay. And then we could sell packages for massage and then that will pay for this. And I'm like, okay, this is cool. 